There was a video we did about heating in the home and using propane as a heating source or in other appliances like in the refrigerator. And I get a lot of the questions uh, like, uh, you know, isn't that dangerous? Would you have anything to say on that? Is it dangerous, like, however you have it set up? Well, propane stoves are very common, aren't they? You know, you, you can buy them. I think people are talking about maybe the lighting, like if you have a propane tank with the, with the portable, with the gas yeah, light. Those are not exactly the safest things in the world. You also don't see a whole lot of them anymore. Okay, and uh, with common sense, they, they were okay. There wasn't a whole lot of bad things happening because of, because of that. I would say that propane lighting is less dangerous than an automobile. Okay. Than being a driver of an automobile. Yeah. Regular daily driver. Yeah, or even a passenger in one. Right. Uh, or a game of football, you know, with proper uh, restraint and rules and, and equipment, et cetera, and safeguards. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I think propane, it has like a uh, an odor added to it, right? Yes. That, 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 so you did, because normally it's odorless, but they add it as a kind of a warning sign if there's a leak yes. or something. Yes. In its natural state, propane has no odor. And the odor is added, so you can detect any kind gotcha. of leak. And it takes quite a mass to actually create an explosion. I mean, mm -hmm. it takes more than a small leak. How would that compare to, like, you know, some of the planar Amish groups are using kerosene, right? right. They're not using kerosene, right? But no. some of the people... Kerosene is much more difficult, mm -hmm. and it's probably not quite as explosive right away. But if mm -hmm. you put kerosene on a hot fire, it's very, very explosive. It's more explosive than uh, than propane or or gasoline. 